Testing, testing, <laughs> one, two, three, still a bit of an echo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. I have the mic here again in case there's an echo and I think there probably always will because it's a glass house, but I was kind of hoping that maybe some of the plants might absorb some of the sound but i think they have to be big leafy plants to kind of absorb the sound this week i tackled the shelving in the greenhouse i got an ikea unit which gave me the absolute ikea rage and i'm going to show you how i just gave it a paint job gave it a makeover it adds like practical storage to the greenhouse so i have the cabinets at the bottom i have the shelves above and they're like styled for now but obviously in spring or whenever i'm going to have trays of seedlings they will have seedlings behind them and the pots can go elsewhere but for now i just have them styled pretty and um, because i was just faffing about enough faffing about if you are new to my channel please do hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video my first greenhouse job this week is actually sealing the base so if i am to be putting furniture in here i don't want it to get ruined and i noticed that in last week's torrential irish rain downpours that i was getting water coming into the greenhouse and it was mainly coming in from one side but i decided to seal the whole base so i'm using some clear sealer but this is especially for outdoors and um, you can also use it indoors but it is for outside so it's kind of like what you would use to seal a window um, it's that kind of like construction grade now you'll see that I'm using a hand um, caulking gun I think that's what it could be called but I changed here because I remember that I have an electric one because I have tendonitis in my hands so if anything kind of repetitive like that really like hurts my hands so i whipped out the good old electric ryobi which if you do suffer with your hands and you're doing a lot of caulking i highly recommend so the shelving that i am putting into the greenhouse is the ikea ivar system so the one i got is there's two ivar cabinets on the bottom and then there is the shelving on top so this fits perfectly in the greenhouse and i am going to be giving it a paint makeover of course i am so i'm using this color it's called kiwi by authentico and i'm using the versant matte range which has a built-in primer it's self-sealing you don't have to do anything with this so there is primer built in now if you want you can like add primer to the knots in the wood um, but I have used this paint on multiple things and I haven't had any bleed through so I'm applying two coats now this took me all day I'd say this took me about five hours um, I gave it two coats of paint the IKEA Ivar units does drink a lot of paint so just giving you the heads up what you can do is you can give them like an undercoat or a coat of primer and that might help it like whenever you paint bare wood it is ideal to give it like a prime and then that won't it'll stop it absorbing all of your paint now there is a primer built in with this paint and i only needed to do two coats but i did find that the pine was absorbing a lot of paint I painted all of the shelving units first and then I tackled assembling the cabinets. Do you know what? The cabinets are not actually that bad to assemble. What gave me the IKEA rage was when I had to assemble them all together in the greenhouse and I don't know what it is. It's, I just I haven't had the IKEA rage in a long time, but the Ivars drove me to it <laughs> so i'm just following the instructions that came with the ikea ivar cabinets and they're actually like straight enough to follow i did kind of have a cheeky look on youtube to see if there was any assembly videos but it's actually quite simple to assemble the cabinets and then i gave them a paint job outside you'll notice that i didn't put the doors on I left the doors to last because they got a little floral makeover that you will see later in the video.
So here's where the IKEA rage started to set in. I remember looking back at this, I was hangry and I just was at this all day with the painting. So I tried to assemble them on the floor because it does say it's a two man job. And I was thinking I'll assemble them on the floor and I'll lift them up. Nope, you can't do that. The screws are just not strong enough to kind of take the weight of you lifting them up. So what I did was I put them together how I wanted them. And then I, well, then I went to bed and I ate something and I came back the next day and I finished assembling them. Now the shelving units come with these straps that secure them to the wall. I had to secure them at the base. So you'll see at the cabinet, because obviously it's a glass house, like I can't drill into kind of like the frame, but I was able to drill into the wooden frame to secure them so that they're not going to be a topple risk. But the IKEA shelves do come with these little straps that you can secure them onto. Overall, I found the IKEA shelves, they're not like, I don't think I'd have them inside my house. I thought they were quite flimsy, but then I put this back brace on them and it kind of strengthened them, but I still don't know how I feel about them. Now, what I am showing you here is the transfers that I'm going to be sticking onto the base of the cabinets. So it comes in two strips. Now, the shop I bought them from has since sold out. So I'll see if I can find you a link on Etsy. So they're easy enough to stick on. Now, when I say easy enough, they're easier than decoupage and they're probably easier than doing it on a Cricut machine. So I went, I wanted like a little meadow like effect and like I don't have much furniture inside of the house with like details like this and I just thought I could have a bit of fun in the greenhouse and it's just picking up on that like floral theme. So basically you just put them on kind of how you would with your like Cricut machine. There's like a transfer, there's a white backing sheet and then there's a front transfer sheet and it comes with this little scraper tool um, in the box and then you just stick it on, scrape it peel off the transfer tape. Now what I will say is some of the pieces lifted and it would tear, but once I put the transfer tape back down, give it a scrape, it went on. So I think they're really good quality and I think they were worth the money as well. Now they do say to seal them with some varnish. So I need to get some clear matte varnish because the paint I use is a matte finish just to stick over the kind of decals and that will secure them. You can also lightly sand them into the wood and um, I didn't because there wasn't much detail in the wood but um, yeah I think they add a little something something to my cabinet and then I'm just drilling on the Ivar units and if you find that when you stick on the Ivar doors to the unit that they're not matching up just fiddle with the adjustment screw that is on the inside of the cabinet because I had to do that and then they matched up perfectly. I don't know if you can see, but I have a tenant in the wildlife corner. So that hedgehog house has been there for so long. And since doing the wildlife corner, we noticed that a hedgehog, well, when I say we, my nephew noticed that a little hedgehog had moved in and he was using the house to sleep in. So I'm a very proud hedgehog mama. Um, I am just now potting up some plants. So the greenhouse, is intended to be used as 
a greenhouse and a workspace but I do intend to have it for seedlings and things like that but for now because of the growing season I'm just styling it up with some pots and um, I am going to do some seed trays for some anemones and then I might do a little bit of winter veg but I am just <laughs> getting rid of the evidence of some dead plants and I just picked up some annuals from the local nursery and these are kind of autumn ones so they're just violas and they're the ones they're not like the summer ones and um, I could start to see some autumn plants coming into the garden center so just for a little bit of early autumn color I know it's still kind of August and you know late summer but I just wanted to bring in a little bit of autumn vibes um, just so I can get a bit longer out of my annuals. So planted some of them for colour, planted a sunflower and then I'm just tidying up the pots that I had kind of let go. I just, yeah, I let, I let them go. Then I just styled up the shelves and the great thing about the Ivar shelves is you can move the shelves and you can add and take away. You'll notice that I took out the middle um, Ivar shelf and yeah I got those little plates to stick on the pots to stop the wood from like rotting um, and yeah give it a bit of longevity. So it was starting to get late in the evening as I was kind of faffing and pottering about I still need to get lights in the greenhouse those little lanterns are just little solar powered ones so I need to get some lighting my socket um yeah I'm gonna get electricity put in and then my stove still a few bits but you know what I'm just enjoying like the process and I can't wait for like springtime for my shelves to be full of little seedlings Can you hear that fly? Maybe if I open the door. Okay, I think if I open the door, the echo isn't as bad. So next on my list of things to do in the greenhouse is, you'll see I have a little bistro set here. I've actually got two of them and I have them for years and they actually last in, I, I don't take them in in winter, which is why they're a bit bashed. But I had an idea that involves tiles. So I'm going to rescue them once again. And I think that might be next week's project. And I'm going to do something with the tables with some tiles and paint them as well so it'll make them tie in kind of with the color i'm absolutely in love with this color it's called kiwi um by authentico it's just such a lovely cottage sagey color it's like beigey green but that's one of my jobs is to rescue the table and chairs i am still on the hunt for a writing desk and the little bistro sets will sit outside um but i'm not in a hurry i want to kind of find the perfect one but now that i've put furniture in here i realize that like i don't want to eat up the floor space because if i do need extra you know shelves or something my priority is the seedlings do you know what i mean and the plants so um i want to get a little stove i've seen a little one and a little basket of logs for maybe in the corner and then a writing desk that can double up as you know a little workspace for me and also you know i need places to pot as well so it's slowly starting to take shape also hedgehog update um i he didn't come home this morning but it's still early. So in the little corner, my nephew spotted that 
there was a hedgehog living there and I've had hedgehogs come in for years if you have like followed me on Instagram like you would have seen me talking about them in winter and they always visit but I've never had one that has actually moved in into one of the houses so if you remember a couple of videos back we dug up that little corner my brother helped me and we I planted like shady loving kind of plants and put down loads of mulch so I think by doing that it gave like a nice habitat for the hedgehogs and there's two hedgehog houses there but he's only using one so I'm like well you can bring some like hog friends home and like sleep in the other hog house but I might even share like a highlight on Instagram or something for anybody who's into the hedgehog um niche content <laughs> it wouldn't it be so cute if they had babies but I think hedgehog baby season is done i've heard that if it's a really warm summer they may mate again around this time so early autumn they can mate again um it's not dangerous but what happens is the babies born late have less time to fatten up for hibernation so they can be underweight so no fear of that happening here plenty of hedgehog food to go around I have no other news. If I'm talking quiet, it's just because I'm, t or if I'm talking softly, it's just because I'm trying not to talk too loud in case the echo, because I do want to film in here because it's so cute. So a few more jobs on the list in here, and then I will put together like a, a nice start to finish greenhouse type video. Um, but I hope you're enjoying like the little updates and kind of doing the jobs weekly as I'm plodding along. I have one or two pieces that I actually got to upcycle as well. So that can be another video. But I think the month of August, I'm just enjoying, yeah, doing like garden bits. Um, because I know it's on the turn of the season. So like we're kind of getting into like autumn and like autumn kind of flowers and that change and I can't wait to like do the greenhouse for like you know little pumpkins little autumn display autumn vibes um but I don't want to wish the last of the summer away so I'm going to just enjoy the month of August pottering in here and what I'm actually going to do next is I've made tea and I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to sit here on my little desk in my cozy greenhouse it's not actually too hot yeah it's not i thought it would have been sweating in here it does get kind of humid especially if you've just watered the plants but it's not unbearable i remember greenhouses as a kid and you would walk in and they would just be like pfft, heat in your face but it's actually okay anyway that is me for this week apologies in advance if the sound wasn't amazing but i think we're going to be Okay, I'll see if I can like de-reverb it when I'm editing. That is me for this week. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you all in the next video.